All right, everyone. We're back here to close out our day on Palace TV. Sorry I left you, but excited to be back and, and wrap uh, up our show today. Uh, it was a great, great day, definitely. We, Jonah and I stepped in for our Steubenville crew, then headed over to Heat. Uh, we're down in Columbus. Um, now we're going to be heading out to Gallia County to finish out our day. Um, Gallia just has incredible community partners and, and a lot of just amazing members of their community down there. Um, today we're going to be joined by a fairly new organization there, Fit Culture, and Rob's going to be bringing us um, a live tour of, of the facility they have there down in Gallipolis and just giving us some fitness tips right now and things that maybe we can do to keep ourselves healthy. It's very important in what we do in our model, physical activity. We try to do it in our programs. It's a little bit different connecting through, through Zoom, but this is uh, a perfect way to do that with physical activity. So live from Gallia County, we'll have Brooke and Rob giving us a tour of Fit Culture. All right, well, welcome. We're here at a new gym, um, Fit Culture, which is really cool, even the name behind Fit Culture and the community of um, fitness that they're trying to um, just use here in Gallia and even beyond. So it's really exciting. And today I'm here with Rob Shoecraft and he is um, a personal trainer and he also does some other classes. So um, we're gonna learn from you today. So why don't you just introduce yourself, Rob, a little, just tell everyone about you, just a little bit. Sure. Your family. My name is Rob Shoecraft. I am 38 years old. No, I'm 37. Oh. oh <laughs> I'm 37. Yeah, 37. <laughs> uh, birthday's next month, so I'm rounding up. Um, I have, I live in Gallup Police here with my wife, Leslie, and our two children. And we lived here for about eight years. I've been a personal trainer for a little over five years, and I just work to try to help people reach their physical goals, right? Some people want to get stronger. Some people want to build big muscles. Some people want to get faster, jump higher. Some people just, just want to, they just want to have something healthy to do, which is fantastic. And it's my job to make sure that they are always progressing and that they're, they're not getting hurt in the process. That's very important. You gotta, you gotta be, you gotta work hard, but you gotta be safe too. Um, so I've been uh, working in fit culture here for, for a couple months now, back in, started back in uh, a couple weeks ago. And uh, this is just an amazing, amazing facility. There's so much equipment in here and all the people are great. And uh, we do, there's yoga in here. There's, I, I teach uh, jujitsu classes to kids and adults. So self-defense. Um, there's a, a float tank, which I've yet to do yet. So I won't talk too much about that. <laughs> There's uh, what else we got going on here? You want to just walk around? Yeah, let's walk around. Happening. Let's give them a tour. So let's there's two it. sides, right? Yeah, there's two sides. You got the, the wellness center and the training center. Okay. All right. So the beautiful thing about both of these sides is no matter which one you choose, it's not a bad answer. Okay. Right. So why don't we start with the wellness sure. center? Sure. Lead the way. Okay. Right this way. So we're trying not to get people on camera. Right? Yeah. So in the, in the, where should I stand? That's this is good. right here. Yeah. All right. So in this, this side of the gym, yeah, this is where you're going to find most of your, your cardio equipment. So the equipment you're going to use to really to get your heart rate up, um, to, it's where you probably see the most sweaty people, right? That's at least if I can see <laughs> me on it. Um, we got a lot of machines, a lot of, they're called selectorized machines in here. So what I mean by that is, all these different machines do something for a different part of your body, right? So, so they're really specific. Very specific. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so right here, this is called this is called a shoulder press machine. Okay. Made by Hammer Strength. I'm not. I don't make any money off that. I don't make any money <laughs> off that, but might as well. It's good. It's good. Good quality company. All, all joking aside, they they spared no expense on quality in here. Mm -hmm. All the equipment in here is top notch. It's stuff that's built to last for a long time. Um, it'll, it'll outlast me for sure. And um, also that makes it safer, right? Like yes, the, it's absolutely. smooth and when you work That's out. super important. You don't want to, um, like most things in life, you know, you, you get what you pay for. Uh, if you go cheap, you know, mm -hmm. if you try to get a great deal on something and you, you skimp wow. on quality, you know, you might get hurt. Mm -hmm. Hope not, but it's a, it's a, it's a distinct possibility. So hammer strength, very good stuff mm -hmm. all the way through. So this is, like I said, this is selectorized equipment. So 
some equipment, like you have these plates over here. I'll digress a little bit. Yep. You have these plates over here. These are called Olympic plates. So they got a little two inch hole that fits onto an Olympic barbell. Okay. A two inch sleeve, right? And some of the some of the machines that we'll see on the other side use those plates. This is just really easy. It's convenient mm -hmm. because all you have to do with the selectorized equipment is just find a good weight. Um, now, I recommend if you're if you're using a machine for the first time, go a lot lighter than you think you need to. Right. right. You got to make sure you get comfortable with the movement. Um, so if you see somebody next to you doing a bunch of weight, don't feel like you have to compete with. Them. Just take it easy. Everything's about slow progression and being safe. Right. So pick a weight that's real. That you know we think is probably pretty light that you, you think you can do and get used to the motion, and so you literally just pick it out. Right now, this is 20 pounds. This particular machine has a bunch of different grips on it, but it kind of you can target different body parts. Like Brooke was saying, you can get as specific as you want to, right? And you lift it up. So right now, I'm working a couple different muscle groups. I'm working my shoulders. Mm -hmm. and I'm working my triceps. Those are the primary. We call them primary movers. Those are the muscles that you're working for this particular machine. So that's the shoulder press. Then you come over here and this is something entirely different. This okay. is, this is for, this is a row machine. And you know, one nice thing about hammer strength is they try to get the most bang for the buck. In, uh, and this is a lot, way it is for a lot of equipment, but hammer strength is really good about this. Trying to give you the most options of one mm -hmm. piece of equipment, right? So you have uh, a palms down grip here. You got a neutral grip here, so your palms are facing in, and you got a you call it a supinated grip. You get your palms facing up, and they all they all kind of do the same thing. It helps mm -hmm. you work your muscles that are used for pulling. So um, same muscles you use, like pull a rope or um, pull anything, right? So so your back, your your rear shoulders that work the front shoulders, one we just talked about, and your biceps, right? So you get on this machine again. Choose a weight that you think feels pretty. That you think would feel light. Anytime you're rowing, I give you a little fitness tip here. Anytime you're pulling, you want to think about. Don't think about trying to pull. I know this sounds kind of dumb, but don't think about trying to pull whatever it is toward you. Think about trying to drive your elbows behind you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you do. If you're trying to pull something, whether you do a like a pull up or or a machine like this, just think about driving to get your elbow as far back behind you as you can. That's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna get my el drive my elbows back, squeeze, bring it back in, nice and easy. It should be in control the whole time, right? So you don't wanna be like, you know, go, right? <laughs> number one, they'll kick you out of here. <laughs> and number two, you're not really doing too much. And number three, you're gonna get hurt, right? right? So nice and control everything mm -hmm. you do. And some of the things you've done so far are really important because they're back builders like yes. they're helpful for our backs and how many of you in here know that if your back hurts everything hurts yes yes so we want to strengthen our back and we want to do it really well so i like that Dude, that we show them those are you familiar with uh show muscles and go muscles nope all right tell so us you brought up a really good point okay your show muscles mm -hmm. these are the ones that everybody thinks about you know when you watch like a movie star on tv like mm -hmm. thor and i'll just see my wife would know right <laughs> They got this, you know, really nice looking stomach and mm -hmm. the, the pecs and the biceps and everything. All the stuff that you see on the front. It's so for look, show, huh? Yeah. So it's a, it's, a beach, it's a beach body, right? Okay. But the things that make you strong, the okay. muscles that really, that really help you move, mm -hmm. do, things, do things in life, whether it's just getting up out of a chair, walking across the street, or slam dunking a basketball, those are your go muscles, right? So that's this guy right here. That's your hamstrings. Mm -hmm. That's your back, like Rick was talking about, and like you were saying, um, I would I would even include the core, in the right? Back because your core is everything. And right. Your core, well, a lot of people just think it's these these muscles right here, right. right? But your core is actually a whole lot of muscles, and it runs all the way around 360 degrees. Think of it as like a big balloon spanning inside of you when you take take a big breath. And the stronger your core is, the less back problems you're going to have faster you're going to be, the stronger you're going to be. Okay. So, yeah, that's a great, that's a great tip. Show muscles and go muscles. Okay. Uh, Do you want to work. show some cardio equipment? That's... Yeah, cardio equipment. Okay. All right, let's see. So this is a, I don't remember what they actually elliptical call Elliptical type? Call elliptical okay. Mm -hmm. it has a, fancy, a name. fancy name. <laughs> these are great. Um, these particular models are really nice. They have a lot of 
bike fitness um, because you could go, this is kind of cool. Um, you could choose. You can go on like a trip. Yeah, can't exactly. You? Yeah. You will, where do we want to go today? Uh, the mountain hike. The Trin mountain Trinity hike. Trinity Mountain. Trin that sounds beautiful. Get some trout. All right. <laughs> You can choose if you want to go for a certain amount of time mm -hmm. or if you want to go like two miles or whatever. So what's best for us if we're just starting? Most of us are just starting. So what would be best? Like, do we want to do a time or a distance? Really, I think I'm going to go with time okay. on that one. Um, once you get a little idea of what is a good distance for you, then you can, you can choose distance. But time's a pretty, good, a pretty good goal because you know how much time you have. Right. Stuff, right? right. If you have something else to do in the day or something, you, you don't know you might not know how long it takes you to walk a mile right right so if you go to time you know almost anybody can do something for 10 minutes right. right so i would just choose 10 minutes and like i said with the with the equipment over there you just want to get a feel for things right you want to again we're, we're trying to be safe start slow to, but yeah, we just want to get moving build up always yes. always try to get a little better right so we choose 60 seconds whatever and then uh boy scout trail sounds promising Ooh. Yeah, let's go. There might be some snakes and stuff on this. Yeah, probably. You're going to watch me walk with the logs, right? So you can go for a little walk. You get your arms working. You get your legs working. And I'm, I'm, I see some beautiful ferns. And so this is like a whole body because you're moving yeah, your arms, Yeah, it works too. everything. Yeah. And you have really two different neat. grips here. See, look, guys. I'm going to trail. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, yeah. All right. So we have uh, heart rate monitors, too, if you uh -huh. want to know how fast your heart's beating. Mm -hmm. All right. Is your heart's yeah. not here. But your pulse is your what you're pulse, going yeah. for. <laughs> you put your hands on, it's got these fancy sensors on here. Yeah. And they'll tell you um, tell you what your pulse is. So you can keep track of that too mm -hmm. if, you, if you want to. So as a personal trainer, most of us are not active that are watching. So okay. what would be our first like goal? You want us to walk or do something to get our heart rate up for 15 minutes, 30 minutes? What's well, a good start? Really, I would <laughs> I would break it down to what you can do. And what you're gonna do okay right? so um start your goals small mm -hmm. start 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 with something very simple i usually recommend if i especially if i'm not going to be working with somebody if, I, if somebody just walks up to me in the street and says what should i do yeah i tell you to go on a walk okay. because most people can do that you don't really need any special equipment mm -hmm. for it and even just a simple 10 minute walk right i would just start with 10 minutes how many of you guys walk. can do that? We can at least pledge yeah. to walk, right? And outside, do a road walk can. outside. Get some sunshine. Get our sunshine. Give me a thumbs up. Yeah? Can we walk? All right. Okay. So show us something else. All right. Some more cardio equipment? Sure. Oh, right, we have treadmills over here. This yep. is like the quintessential walking. gym piece. Any gym you walk into America. Probably Someone said they're going to try 20 minutes. So that's good. 20 minutes? A good 20 minute. Yeah, good. I like it. Good deal. So treadmills are cool. You can choose a... Uh, you guys don't want to see me run, do you? No, no. <laughs> no one wants to see that. You guys, Nick, that was from Nick. All right, Nick, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Nick, 20 minutes. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, you can control the incline so you can make it feel like you're running on a hill. Right. Um, and, you know, one thing I, I always recommend, if, if, if you can, and you're on a treadmill, do a little bit of an incline because it's easier on your knees. Mm -hmm. it's, hard, it's, it's harder. It'll make your heart beat faster. But if anybody here, if it hurts your knees or something, sometimes when you walk or you get out of a chair, you walk up the stairs, um, or down the stairs, really, when it's when it's up on an incline, your knees, your legs don't have as far to go okay. down, right? So you don't get that jarring motion. Mm -hmm. You're going up a hill, it right. works the muscles more. Okay. And it hurts your knees less. So I recommend a, just a slight, a slight incline, make it go up and and uh, go from there. This is a neat comment. Someone, uh, let's see, was it CG? Anyway, someone was talking about walking their pets, so they walk their dog. Yeah. So that's awesome. a good, yeah, right there. It, it, that's it, good. It, it's, it kills two birds in one stone. Right. Because right? you got to walk your dog. Your dog's got to get exercise. Yep. And you can join your dog with you. So you, right. now you've, you're taking care of your pet and you're taking care of yourself. That's perfect. Who said that? Senior. And you might be um, safer, too. Have your that's animal true. with you. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a big dog. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's a good tip. I like that. Okay, so cardio, and cardio, then we've got selective machines. Cardio equipment. Oh, yeah. Yep. This is like a recumbent bike, so you can actually sit down. And these are really nice. I like, I like, I like uh, the cycling stuff, like being on a bicycle. Mm -hmm. um, because it's, it's usually very joint friendly. Right. right. And on this, you, you can still 
pedal through the woods or whatever mm -hmm. it is you want to do. Um, but this is kind of cool because you get to sit down. Right. Kind of sit back while you're doing it. Um, now, I've always wondered this. Do you want to be closer or further back? I want back? to be further away. Actually, okay. This is probably, I just kind of hopped on. That's okay. Yeah. I just wondered for myself. Like, do you yeah, want to be wanna closer? Yeah, you just a little bit of, uh, same goes with like actually an actual bike. It, it, it'll almost feel like it's, like it's uncomfortably far away. Okay. Right? Okay. You want to have just about, just, you don't want to be completely locked out, but you want to have just a little really bit of a close. curve. Okay. If you're all pent up, it's going to cause more problems. Right. Well. How many of you like riding bikes? Anybody on it? Yep. So another good way to exercise that we all can do. So that's great. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yep. They have bikes. That's awesome. This is probably my favorite piece of equipment. Okay. I actually have one myself in my, in my garage. Do you guys want to know why this is my favorite piece of equipment? Because when he does it, it'll give, it'll fan me. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> if yes. I'm walking by it. Yeah. <laughs> when you're hot. So this is a rower. This is like being on a, uh, it's like being in a kayak. Or a okay. Canoe, right. Um, this little piece here, it's kind of like the gears on a bicycle, right? So you can control how much force um, okay. it takes to get the, to get it moving. Um, let's see here, my feet are- Put your are, feet in the straps there, yeah. Probably the hardest part about this thing is getting it. Getting your feet ready. Yeah. So, you know, you, get your, you fit your feet in there. I have size 14, so it's kind of just barely fitting, but um, get your feet in there. And that must be why you're so tall. How tall are you? I'm about, I'm about six four wearing these. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna grab this sucker. Okay. And I like this thing a lot. I like um, I, I train train with some kids, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes at the end, this has like some games on. You play darts. Oh. You play a, where you're a fish in a pond. Okay. You control your speed and try to eat, you know, smaller fish. You're not trying to get eaten by bigger fish. Yeah. But when it, the rower is great, it works everything. A lot yes. of people think that the rower is mm -hmm. an arm exercise, mm -hmm. but really your legs are doing most of the work. Okay. Um, or you're doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, 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 uh, my brother-in-law, my sister's husband, told me that um, he was a rower for, for Virginia. He's a really high-level rower. He said if, you, if, you, if you're rowing and your arms are sore the next day. You Didn't do it right. right. Okay. So you start with your legs. You push back. Okay. And then you finish with your arm. And then your arms go back. Your legs follow. Like this. Man, you can work up. Yeah. Good fan. Yeah, good fan. <laughs> good for about five. <laughs> so this is also something you can do like as a warm up because it warms up your whole yeah. body, and then it's like a ten minute. Yeah. 10 warm minutes, yourself up. Your whole body's warmed yeah. up. Yeah. This is this is a fantastic machine. <laughs> and he was talking about this being rowing. How many of you have done any pals trips like kayaking or canoeing? Anyone? I know that that's really something fun, um, even on like the Hawking River or just even to go out into like a lake or a pond and get to kayak. So that's building those muscles and yeah. using that. There's another way we exercise. It's not just in a gym, but these are ways that we can show you can even use it outside the gym, like biking, walking, rowing, by kayaking or canoeing. So yeah. we catch some fish. Which that's are very right. Healthy. Yeah, there you go. Now we're, now we're getting into food, diet. You know, you get up <laughs> uh, over here. You really wanna this workout really place is in Gallia County, so they're asking where this is. This is, oh, yep, this is in, in uh, Powell's Gallia area. It's what called Fit it? Culture. Stairmaster here, right? So this is climbing stairs. So yes, he's gonna do this on a stair climber, but could you do this at a local stadium, or could you go somewhere yeah. that has oh, yeah. some steps? And this would really that boost your heart rate a lot, right? You know, I would say anything. This, these machines are great because they're convenient, you know, especially when it's raining or snowing outside or something. Right. Anytime you have the opportunity to do the same thing outside, mm -hmm. it's always going to be better. Right. It's more interesting. You get sunshine, which is good for you. You get vitamin D. Mm -hmm. It's really important. Do it with um, other people. What's that? You can do it with other people. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't share this with uh, another right. person. I thought this thing was neat when they got these mats in because this showed you different core exercises that you could do. So you can lay this mat down yeah, and so then you can work on different areas, arm, legs, your, your core there, your back, there's a row. So yeah, I just thought it was really neat that it just kind of already gave you all of your instructions. You know what else is pretty important? Yes, hygiene. You know, if, uh, I don't know who's gonna see this. I don't know if Josh is gonna see this. Yeah. Stephanie, but <laughs> 
if they see me going on all this equipment and not wiping it down. Right. We need to make sure that one of the biggest, most important things, all joking aside, is cleaning up after yourself. So right. Sweat, spitting mm -hmm. everywhere. Right. Hopefully not throwing up, but, <laughs> you know, it happens. Depends if you're training us too hard, huh? Yeah, I try not to do that. I can't say I've never done it, but I try not to do that. I like people walking. I like people to leave with their watch. There you go. Um, okay, so we've done this side. Yeah, did you want which, to look at any other? We'll just, no, we'll just kind of look. So this was what side? What's it called? This is a, what they call the wellness side. The wellness side. Okay, so this was our cardio machines. Um, and then what did you call them? Selective? Selectorized. Yep, uh, selectorized. selectorized weightlifting equipment. Someone said it looks like you're at an Ohio State University gym. Like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> very, this is a serious yes, operation. Yes, it is. Um, and you know, not one, we're going to go look at another side here in a yes, minute. Yes, this is our first side. Not one side is better than the other. They're just a little bit different. Right. You can accomplish just about the same thing in either side. It's just kind of what your preference is. Right. right? Um, so this is what? This is me. It's yeah, like a turf here. Turf. Okay. 50 yards mm -hmm. at the football field. Okay. And this is one of the coolest pieces, I guess we could call it equipment. Sure. Right? In here, um, plus one, well, we should probably show them off, but these, these things are really nice. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. If you're trying to get better at jumping, you gonna jump up there for us? Yeah, I usually try to warm up. <laughs> he did the rowing machine. There we go. All yeah, right, everybody gives him a thumbs up. Oh, he did good. <laughs> um, these are really nice though because they're soft. Mm -hmm. If you're doing a lot of jump training mm -hmm. over time, it really tear your knees up. Plus. Right. It happens. I've seen it happen a million times. I've done it myself. Fall. You slip. You're really tired. And yep. you just yes. So this is nice. And these are different sizes. Yeah. You, you know, so you can build yourself up. Everything from six inch to 24 inch, and you can stack them all on top of each other. Whoa. So, if someone's jumping that high, I'm like impressed. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. impressive. So this uh, turf that was used for, I know Josh Perry, the owner of this gym, uh, he's really into um, speed and agility yes. and going fast and jumping fast and being the best. So this is part of that, right? This is okay. where he trains and yeah, this is when he trains, uh, I don't want to speak too much. Yeah, yeah. Josh, but he doesn't know what he's talking about. Guys, not only can make people faster, but he's extremely fast himself. But he uh, does most of the training mm -hmm. on this turf here. Mm -hmm. And he's has people run different distances. We'll probably talk about those sleds at the very end right. there. So if you want to push a lot of weight, right. Um, you can do that. Uh, he has these things. Um, that you hook up to your to your waist, mm -hmm. and they give you resistance. It's like a, a oh, line. as you run, so, yeah. So it's harder to run against okay. it. Um, it's very very cool. Uh, so this is uh, the I think they call it the training okay or, uh, training center. Yeah, training center. Yeah. I think that. This is where most of the most of the free weights are. You okay. still have a lot of machines in here, mm -hmm. but they're plate loaded. We talked about selectorized versus plate loaded. Right. Really, not a whole much of a difference. Whole, whole, uh, too much of a difference between those two machines. It's just kind of the way you put the weight on, mm -hmm. right? So um, here it's a cable crossover machine. You can do a million different exercises on this thing. These things are fantastic. You got a pull-up bar. There's probably about forty places in this place to do pull-ups. That you can pull up. <laughs> yeah, pull up, right? How many you can do pull-ups? I'm not my arm. Mm, I need to work on that. Yeah. Well, Does it your arms or is it really your core? It's so core, I, I went, I tried to do as many pulls as I could do yesterday uh -huh. and today my core mm -hmm. is killing me. So mm -hmm. it's core, it's back. Mm -hmm. so once you figure out how to use your back doing pull-ups, like I said, if you're trying to do a pull-up, just think about trying to get your elbows down. Don't worry right. about what that bar is. Just get your elbows down yeah. as hard as you can. Um, it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's a combination of back strength, of core strength, of bicep strength. Um, and, and it's a good indicator of kind of where you are as far as losing fat and building muscle, because obviously the lighter you are, right. the less you have to lift up. Right. right. So if you want to do a pull up, usually one of the best things to do is just try to eat better, right. Right? And try to get out and move, walk your dog more, mm -hmm. try to, try to lose some, some weight because the more weight you lose, as long as you're getting stronger, the lighter you are, the, the lighter more you are, the less <laughs> Up, right? uh, another thing about pull up, I don't know how much you want to get into the weeds here, but they're not for everybody. Some folks, if they got really bad shoulders, yeah, or it's just you know, if you if, if you have trouble lifting your arm up like this, mm -hmm. or it hurts when you do this, I wouldn't recommend doing pull ups. There's other things you could do to strengthen your bicep, okay? Because it's 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 not for everybody, but they're a great exercise if you can do them. Um, but you have all these all these little handles here. These, these are all different attachments. 
that you could hook up to this stuff. I yeah. mean, it's, I, wow. I, I, I'll be honest with you. It's I mean, almost I, intimidating, huh? <laughs> I want to say I know what everything does, but uh -huh. I'm sure that if you put me on the spot, I'd probably start wow. with Neat. So, yeah, it's very cool. And what are these? This is called free weights? These are dumbbells. Yeah. Dumbbells, okay. They are free weights. Okay. Right? When you're talking free weights, you're normally talking about barbells. Okay. Which we'll, we'll show you. Actually, this is a barbell. Okay. This is a barbell made specifically for curling. Okay. Mainly curling. You can do other things. Mm -hmm. too, but this is what you always see people, yeah. people doing curls, right? Building up your, uh -huh. your biceps. Right. Some creature curls that you want to isolate the arms. But these are dumbbells. Dumbbells are probably like my favorite piece of equipment. Okay. I just, I love them. They feel, they feel good. You get to get a full range of motion. So, oh, I don't know. Maybe we'll do like a dumbbell exercise here. Let's grab, grab some 30s here, right? This would be like an incline bench press. Incline dumbbell bench press, right? So it's kind of working your shoulders, your chest, your triceps. And again, you want to be real careful because you got now, right now I have 60 pounds of weight right over my face, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to start light to make sure you don't hurt yourself, right? But one nice thing about dumbbells is if you're working out by yourself and something goes wrong or you think you got another one, but you don't quite have it, if I have a barbell, now I'm in trouble, mm -hmm. right? Because I'm going to be eating that bag. Right. But if you have dumbbells, slow them down. Yep. So or you can even lose one if you need it or something. Yeah. 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 And there's all, I mean, there are, again, there are thousands of dumbbell exercises you can do. Um, and we're not talking about just arms. This is a way that you can add weight if you want to do squats or lunges yeah, yeah, or things the, like that one too. One of the best exercises for mm -hmm. a squat you can do with a dumbbell is called a goblet squat. Mm -hmm. And you hold this dumbbell up to your chest. And I like this because it kind of forces you to keep your chest up. Because a lot of people when you do squats, they want to come down like this, mm -hmm. right? And this forces you to keep your chest up in a good position. And you sit back just like you're sitting in the chair, mm -hmm. go back up. Yeah, and this is a good exercise for us who do sit a lot. How many of you like to sit a lot? You're sitting a lot watching Pals TV every day, but we want to keep moving. So if you're doing yes. squats and getting back up, and you could even do that while you're watching some of these segments. So yeah, yep. And when can, can I give a sitting down? Yeah, sit? All right. for sure. So well, this is an adjustable bench. So this is kind of cool. You get different angles. So right now, I'm just going to put it in the flat. Okay. So when you're sitting down, if you watch people sit down, sometimes I do too when I'm really tired. They, people just kind of walk down like that, right? Yeah, we got people trying it with you, so. When they kind of come down on their knees like this, right? Mm-hmm. Sit down. Believe it or not, there's a little bit of an arch here, right? You just want to, you want to push your hips back behind you. Push your hips back, just sit back. And you want to keep your shoulders back when you're in this position, because a lot of times, I work on computers a lot. So when I'm working on a computer, usually I have, I have a standing desk. So I stand when I'm working most of the time, but if I'm working on a desk, I get really involved in my computer and I end up doing like this, mm -hmm. right? How many of you bend over like that? See so yeah. your shoulders are slumping shoulders, forward. And then my back starts hurting a lot. Mm -hmm. Now I'm folded over, I got all the strain in my back. My, my legs aren't doing anything, so I'm not getting good circulation. Mm -hmm. My blood's not moving very well. I got my sh shoulders rolled forward. And if you do this, you know, for an hour, probably not going to be a big deal. But if this is how you sit all the all time, day, for yeah. years after years after years, you're going to have a lot of problems going mm -hmm. on. So it's important when you sit down, you get your back straight, shoulders back. Try to imagine that you're trying to trying to make your, your shoulders touch each other back here. Gets your chest back. And there also it makes you look a little more confident, right? Yeah. So let's project your voice more. Like this. There you go. Try setting back, everyone. Putting your shoulders back. Yeah, Good job. Back. Yeah, That's there you go. Yeah, awesome. And then when you stand up, this is really important. Okay. You want to keep your heels on the ground, right? If you stand up like this on your toes, it puts a lot of strain on your knees. Okay. So when you stand up, again, big chest, you want to drive. We'll call it a static stop. You want to drive your feet into the floor like they're in concrete, right? You want to just drive through. Bring your hips there you go. Okay. Good job, guys. Yeah. Sitting down. Something I'll you can you practice. What, if you know how, if you sit down like I just did, mm -hmm. you're ahead of <laughs> so many people. There you go. Happy, happy back problems. You um, learned it right here on Pals TV. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, let's see. So dumbbells. These are cool because they go up to this one. You got five pounds all the way up to 150 pounds each. Okay. These things are behemoths. Very uh, nice. What else we got here? 
This is one of the best back exercises. Not a lot of gyms have one of these. There are all sorts of exercises you can do on this. So I can put that other is this there. where you lay down? Yeah, you can like you put your feet in it and you lay forward. I'll give you a quick run through here. Okay. So we have most people it's yeah. a glute ham development, okay. GHD, right? So one thing you can do with this is strengthen your, your hamstrings. Some more go muscles here, right? Come out, drive through. So now I'm doing this is like a bicep curl for your legs. Okay. Right? And you can come down here and you can use your lower back and your and your uh hips, right? You could this this is really cool. I like this a lot. This is a an exercise developed by a really, really strong man named Louis Simmons who lived in Columbus. It's called a reverse hyperextension. So you bring your legs up like this, and it works your lower back without putting any strain on it. Yeah. You guys, some of you guys are in Columbus now, so that guy made that up. Cool. And then, of course, you got sit ups, right? Everybody loves. I had a. Get your big feet in there. <laughs> Yeah, right. So you can do sit-up variation. Um, so many help. Oh, so you can do a lot of stuff. All sorts of stuff. Yeah. Sometimes you know you gotta be just be inventive. Like you think, I wonder what this thing could do. I wonder if this will work. Give it a shot. You know, it's a it's a it's a sandbox. It's a and most of you, if you do visit a gym in your area or even here in Gallia, most of them do have like instructions on them. So if you can find. Um, the portion that has that, you can probably figure it out or watch someone else do it. Yeah, or, or <laughs> never be afraid to ask. Right. Right. There's always going to be somebody working in the gym mm -hmm. who most likely knows what all this equipment does. Right. Or at least they know who to mm -hmm. ask. Right. If you don't know how to work something, don't be afraid to ask. You might meet a friend, you know? Like right. I've met a lot of people in here who are just asking questions. Right. Um, so. Or you can always YouTube it. <laughs> <laughs> I've pretty much de I've developed three, three careers off of YouTube. <laughs> um, it's the best university in the world. Well, okay, so this is called a power rack. Okay. I try to spend a lot of time in the power rack. There's a lot of exercises you could do. Um, gosh, we could talk about this for hours, but I'll try to keep it short here. So you have these things here. They're called J cups. This is a very this is another hammer strength product, of course. Um, and this uh, it's it's very solid. Uh, me and one of the guys over there and the owner, Josh, moved this thing uh, during the quarantine and it was heavy. Right? <laughs> so you have these J cups and this is where you're, you have all these different positions. The, these are separated by two inches. Okay. Like, well, it might be, I don't know, it's two or three inches. And then you put this up through here. So this is how you adjust them. Pardon me? You adjust them based yeah, on what you, you want to do. Them, yeah. Okay. You adjust them depending on what you're going to do. So this is a barbell. Mm -hmm. So let's say I want to do squats. Okay. Right? So I get up on here. Boom. I step out. And I squat down. Okay. And when I'm done, I just back it and drop it back in. Now the nice thing about this thing is if you're working out by yourself and you're using a lot of weight. And by the way, I don't recommend that you just walk right into the gym and start squatting with a lot of weight. Right. Do the basics first. You know, like I said, go on a walk, walk your dog, get, get in that habit of, of getting used to, to moving, right? Making sure that your, your knees feel good, that your back feels good before you start putting weight on your back. But eventually you might work up to the point where you want to do that. And if you're doing that and you're doing it by yourself, it could be kind of dangerous. So you have these bars here. Let's say I put this here. You can do this for bench pressing too. I was talking about with the dumbbells before how I couldn't lift it any heavier. I couldn't lift it anymore. I had to throw them to the side. Mm -hmm. With the barbell, you can't do that. But what you can do, let's say I'm going down and I can't hold anymore. Now I'm safe, right? Okay. I just stand up. Yeah, so there's down. always ways for us to be safe while yeah, we work safety out. Safety is first. It's the most important thing. It really is. Yes. Um, I should probably wipe this down, shouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah. I want to tell Speaking if you don't. Speaking of safety, yeah, don't tell. <laughs> Are they going to see this? Now, this gym, I don't know. This gym is really nice because they do have, um, like, wiped down. What are these called? I don't know. Wipes. Wipes. That's what okay. Um, some places have, like, a squirt bottle that you would use and then a towel. Um, so you want to look around for the gym that you're in and what they use. Yes. Uh, but make sure that you're doing the right protocols, especially right now. Now, some of you are, of course, working out at home. So these tips you can apply at home, too. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Nice okay, so this is the power rack. Okay. Power, power rack. Power okay. Rack. 
Um, so then we have all sorts of different light mm -hmm. press machines here. Yeah. And like you said, it is kind of interesting. Like I work out here, but this side always intimidates me more. But really, these are things that yeah. you do over there. Yeah, exactly. It's just a. Uh, it's really just another way. To Does everybody it. like this gym? Everyone's like, yeah, we like this gym. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up. For so sure. One cool thing about these machines here is they are ice, they're called isolaterals. It's a good word, but they work. Oh, so you can isolate? Yeah. Is that what? Okay. Yeah. So you can work on maybe your left side strong, stronger than your right. You can work those individually and try to bring them both up together. I didn't realize that. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, different places to do bench presses depending on what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, this machine is really neat. This okay. is called a belt squat machine, and not a lot of gyms have this either. Okay. And this is really cool because you could those squats I was doing over there in the power rack. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of weight on your back, but guess what? It can hurt your back. Right? right. You have to be careful. This, you get the same type of action with your legs, but it doesn't put any weight on your back. So you put this belt on. You guys can watch me struggle with this a little bit. You gotta kinda manipulate a carabiner in here, right? But I put this on here and you can put weight on the side. And then you pull this back. And now you can squat down. And you don't have any weight on your back. It's all legs. Right? Wow. So it's relatively safe for your back to be really you can really give your legs some uh, a good workout. So this is a very cool machine. That's neat. Yeah. Um, this thing is pretty cool. It's a trap bar. Okay. It's used for doing mainly deadlifts, but you have all these little heights here. So oh. depending on you know how low you want to go to reach down, you can adjust that. Um, you put a ton of weight, put up to a thousand pounds on there. Probably thousand wow. pounds, and you can do deadlifts, oh, right? Yeah. And this uh, has some extra padding because sometimes people drop yes, that weight. Yes. You kind of max out. Yeah, yeah, and it's loud. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, somebody doing deadlifts here. Um, speaking of deadlifts, I'll talk about something real quick that probably everybody could uh, could apply. A deadlift. What I was just doing there. I was talking about people lifting a thousand pounds, right? Doesn't matter if you can't lift a one pound or a thousand pounds. The movement is all is always the same, right? Mm -hmm. When you watch, let's say I want to pick up this piece. I want to be nice. I want to pick up this piece of paper on the floor, right? Most people, when they bend over to pick up a piece of paper, mm -hmm. they bend over like this. They put all that on their back. You guys do that? Most people do it. If you mm -hmm. do that, don't, don't feel bad. What's up, brother? So, like I said, you got your you got your go muscles back here. Use your go muscles. Right. So what you want to do is instead of bending over at your back. You want to bend over at your hips. Okay. Push your hips back. And then bend over like this. That way. There we go. Now, as far as picking it up, apparently my fingers are going to be smart. But, but you want to pick it up like that. <laughs> yeah. And it's going to save your back. Mm -hmm. It's going to make your legs stronger. It's a yep. win-win. They're trying it at home, so that's great. Yeah. Yes. That's awesome. Yep. That's awesome. So whether you're deadlifting a piece of paper or a thousand pounds, <laughs> you basically do it the same way. Yep. So the form is there. The form is there. Yeah. Okay. Start with the basics and then you add weight. Mm-hmm. This is pretty cool. This is very cool. This is a giant. It looks like a Ninja Warrior horse or something. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me to do it. But you got monkey bars here, right? Yeah. Do the challenge. Yeah. Right. <laughs> got here. Huh? And each one of these, when I was showing you the power rack, each one of these stations along the way. It's yeah. essentially a power rack. There's some, like each side even. So you can basically train like a whole football team. Okay. Just on this little piece alone. That's good too, to have like a workout partner or yeah. some yeah. people to work out with. And then that's a lot, a lot more fun and accountability. Yes. And, and if you're competitive, then it gives you a challenge. All the time. For sure. These are nice kettlebell. These are called kettlebells, yes, right? Yes, kettlebells, yeah. And there's a lot of work you can do with those. Oh yeah, they're great. Um, this, what would this be for? <laughs> Uh, this is a weighted vest. Okay. So let's say if you wanted to see me fall faster off those monkey bars, I'd put this on. Right. It's just going to give you that extra weight if you're wanting to challenge yeah, this yourself. Thing weighs, I don't know what this weighs. Something I had to guess maybe 40 pounds, 30, 40 pounds. I have it on backwards. Okay. So you see how often it's I use fine. It. <laughs> it's fine. But if you want a if you want a serious challenge, 
Um, one thing you could do is to get, if you get a weighted vest, put this weighted vest on, get on the treadmill, Ooh, put okay. the incline all the way up as high as it'll go, mm -hmm. and just walk, like real slow, like two miles per hour. That's about all it takes. Yeah. Right? You'll have to, you'll have work to yourself out. Put that for the laundry mat afterward. Yeah. Um, got a big wall. <laughs> Well, it's kind of cool. I mean, I'm sure there's probably a few things you can do with it, but one thing, um, you see this a lot in like CrossFit gyms. Right. They'll do something called wall ball shots. Mm -hmm. So you use your legs. This is mainly, it looks like it's arms, but it's mainly legs, right? Bend it up, down, and up, drive it up. I can throw this up against the wall. Right? Yeah. This is um, a 16 pound ball. All these balls are way different amounts here. So. There's more ones. like jumping, whatever those are called over there. Yeah, the more the mm -hmm. box jump boxes. Yeah. Um, pretty much everything in here has a has a purpose. Uh, these plates are nice. You're talking about dropping the weight. Right. These plates are called bumper plates. Okay. So you could drop them on the floor. You want to make sure oh. you don't drop them on your foot. Right. But it won't damage the floor. Okay. Right. Doesn't make a noise really. Yeah, it's uh, it's mm -hmm. nice. There's not a whole lot of clinging and clanging. Some people probably miss it, but for the most part, it's very cheap. <laughs> and these were the sleds you were talking about? Yes. These are the best things ever. Or the worst. Or the worst, yeah. So you can put weight on that middle bar there. Yes. To increase that. Okay. Yeah, Which way put, are you shoving it or what are you doing you know, with that's it? The beauty of it? There's really no there's no uh wrong way to do it, really. Um there's a <laughs> yeah. like most of the so those like, plates look like dishes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do. Um, you could pull it backwards. Okay. If you want to really hit your quadriceps, the muscles okay. in the front of your legs. Mm -hmm. um, you could push it forward. You can push it with your arms out. You could walk and press it with your upper body. Mm -hmm. You can, um, you got these handles here if you want to get really, really low. Uh, you can strap like a rope to it or okay. strap some handles to it mm -hmm. uh, and pull it back this way or drag it like this. Okay. Punish others with it. Punish you others. Punish others. <laughs> punish others. Yes, that's probably the number one use yes. for these things. And that man who just screamed out, I won't say his name, but <laughs> protect, protect identities. But if anybody would know how to do that, it's him. Yes. <laughs> I've seen him working people out before. He's, yeah, he's a pro. These things here, uh, it's called foam rollers, and this is a particular. I was gonna say, is this good for like a massage on your back or? Yeah, it's, it's okay. So it belongs to a classification of we'll call them exercises. Okay. Uh, called SMR, which stands for self myofascial release. I won't get into the details of what that is. Okay. But um, I could, man. Only if you guys want to. But uh, it looks like really like a medieval torture device. Mm -hmm. um, is it soft? Is it spongy? It's spongy. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got a PVC pipe at home that I use sometimes, and it's not spongy. Right. But it gets in and it breaks up. If you ever feel like you have like a, some people call it a knot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Feel like you have a knot somewhere, mm -hmm. and it makes it real hard. It makes it hard to move. It's res it's restricted. Mm -hmm. Um. These are great for breaking up knots. Okay. So let's say I have a knot in the front of my leg. Okay. Maybe my quads real tight because I just maybe uh, he just maybe pull it all the way down the back. Yeah. So Tortured get, you with that machine. I get on top of this thing, and if you're ever using a foam roller, the key is to try to relax. Okay. It's going to be really, really uncomfortable, but try to relax and let it do its thing. Just get in there, roll around. So you're not really like doing it quickly like yeah yeah okay. it's like a, like you said it's like a massage okay it's so like you're taking really, it like slow really intense massage, right? okay and you could use this pretty much anywhere in your body mm -hmm. your upper back i don't like to use it on my lower back okay. um but just about anywhere else the back of the legs mm. the back of the calves yeah it's get really tight sometimes yeah yeah, yeah it's great for that. so these are wonderful you guys can get some of those at home <laughs> yeah you can, um i have a couple I think I have that exact one right there. Mm -hmm. I found it at Aldi. There you go. Shopping yeah. for groceries for like Aldi, six bucks. No so, big deal. Yeah. Okay. Um, it never hurts to massage your muscles. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good stuff. Help you sleep at night. We just have a few minutes left, so we're good unless someone has questions or there's another um, 
one of these that Very I like nice. to walk by. This is the meanest because it's, meanest it's this is like a giant fan, and so it really cools you off while you're working out. It's nice for everybody except the person who's on it. Right. Yeah. Um, Do you guys have any questions for Rob? Do you enjoy this tour of the gym? Thumbs up. I like mm -hmm. We should go there. That gym. We should go, go there. I know we kept getting that. Like we should go visit. So they want to yeah. come on like a, a field trip to the gym. Yeah, awesome. it's pretty awesome. Whenever that's like a request, this it is a state of the art, awesome place, and it's almost inspiring. You know, Dave and I have talked about working out here is inspirational. Like it's something that you want to do. It's like whenever you there's like a fine tuned piano that you play, it makes you want to play more. Yeah. Um. So I kind of feel that way about this facility for sure. Anyone else have any? Questions or thoughts, comments? You said uh, I walk my dog. Awesome. Yes. So walking and your I, dog. And I roller skate. Roller skating. That's a oh, good yeah. exercise. Yeah. yeah. Good. I can't do it, but if you can do it, that's awesome. <laughs> well, and you're working, you're, like keeping balance. Like yeah. that's, oh, oh, that's yeah. something really good. Yeah, you're and, like, and you do scootering too. You do what else? Scooter. Scootering. Okay. Yeah. Anything, awesome. anything you could do that you like to do, if you like to do it, that's even better. Right. Uh, you want to do something that you're going to want to do all the time. So that way you're not like, I have to exercise. Mm -hmm. today. And it's okay to switch it up. Yeah. Like, I think that's yeah. really it's important great, for people. Great. You know, it's okay to do something different because you enjoy it yeah. or you get tired of something that you've been doing. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Very good advice. <laughs> this was a great way to end our day. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Rob, for the tour. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> That was that was great, dude. Well done. Um, you guys want to come visit now, the gym, don't you? Well, yeah. As soon as we get open, it's going to definitely be one of our spots, and and we'll do it consistently too. Make sure that the groups are each week or even mul yeah. multiple times a week if we can. Right. As always, Brooke, you do an amazing job. So thank you when you jump in here on Pals TV and yeah. help out. Um, no problem. We appreciate uh, Josh allowing us to tour his facility, pick culture down there in Gallipolis that looks state of the art and can't wait to see it myself. So you got a great spot there, Rob. Thanks. I, I actually, uh, I just work out here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, you have a great spot to work out at. No, second home. <laughs> we even had people working out at, on uh, Powell's TV here alongside you. I saw Allison. Oh, really? Yeah, they keep were trying it up. to that. That's, that's great. Yeah, it was great. So, well, thank you to Gallia and Rob and Brooke for that tour and ending our, our day here on Pals TV. Um, tomorrow will be another good day. Brooke will be back doing an interview with one of our executives, Susan. Um, we'll have fitness with the p so I don't think it'll compare to, to what we just experienced, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Um, our show and tell. Um, so if you've been working on anything, make sure you finish it up for tomorrow when our AOTL group comes back and has their segment. And then we'll finish the day out with uh, the conclusion of the mystery hour. So was it Vivian, Veronica, or Detective Oswald? Should be fun. All right, come back and join us for the last day of season seven here on Pals TV tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Have a good night.